Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with very interesting problem today. It is asked by a gaming company called Gameberry Labs and Mahima Jain has shared it with me. So this was asked for a product analyst role, but very interesting SQL problem. If you have played that Ludo King game, right? In, during COVID, we all played that Ludo King game on our mobile apps, right? You can very easily relate to it. Okay, so let's jump on to jump on to the problem and see how we can solve it. I'm telling you it is a lot of fun. Okay, so this is my problem. So there are total three problems. I'm going to solve the third problem today. Uh, rest of the problem I can solve in other videos. So the question is you have a game going on, the Ludo game, right? For now, forget about this in last seven days, right? I'm not considering this. You can just put a filter of last seven days in a SQL but i will solve the rest of the question so the question is get a distribution of games so first uh, understand the table so you have a user id event date interaction type game id timestamp this data which is given here it is only for one game but in actual you will have multiple games so the data that i have created in my sql server is for four games right so within each game you have interaction so when you are playing a game you can send a messages right if you have played that you can type a custom message right and send it or you can send an emoji or they are preloaded quick message that don't run after me these kind of messages you will see right or you can send a gift so these are the messages getting sent between the users for example user abc has sent this message right for, for now consider there will be only two users there will be no four user game only two user game right so abc is sending this message here user DEF is sending this message, right? So this game is between ABC and DEF, right? So there will be a game start event, there is game end event, and there are other events, send message, send emoji, send message, send gift, right? Different kinds of event. We have a timestamp, but it is of no use for this problem statement, okay? And this is the game ID. So this, this full table belongs to one game, AB1234. Now, what is the question? So what we have to do, get a distribution of games based on the social interaction that is happening during the games. Please consider the following as the category for getting the distribution. So we have total four categories and each game will fall in one of those categories, right? Either it will fall in this category or this or this or this. Now, what is these categories? So the first category is no social interaction. So we have to find, so each game we have to flag if it is this category or this or this and this, and then we can find the distribution also which is a easy thing easy thing the main problem is the main challenge is to to find the category for each of the game so for no social interaction means there shouldn't be any social interaction so there are four social interactions if you see right there are four social interaction if you see so this game doesn't fall in no social interaction category right I, i'll show you the table okay then there is one-sided interaction one-sided interaction means only one player has interacted. So for example, in this, if you see ABC and DEF, both have interaction. So you don't have to consider this event game start game end because there's no interaction here. You have to consider wherever interaction type is not null. For those events, if you see ABC and DEF, both are there. So this doesn't qualify also for one-sided interaction. There should be only one user. Now, third one is both side interaction without custom typed messages, which means there should be interaction from both the users. So this, this falls in that category, which is fine, that ABCDEF. But there shouldn't be any custom type messages. But in this game, there is one custom type messages. So it doesn't fall in that as well, right? The last one is both sided interaction with custom type messages from at least one player. So in this, in the fourth category, this particular game is falling, where we have interaction from both the users, both side interaction, ABC is sending message, DEF is also sending message, and there is at least one player sending custom time message. So this falls in fourth category. Now I will move on to SQL Server where I will show you all four, all four games and we will solve this problem. Okay, so this is my table. I have created four games. If you see, let's try to categorize them and then I will start writing queries. So first game is this, right? This is the same game, same game that we have seen here. This is the same game which have, we have seen here. So I will say this is, this falls in this category, right? The last category. So I will say game AB111. I have four games. So AB111 
is falling in this category okay ab111 is falling in both side interaction or we can say category 4 for simplicity right we can change it but let's keep it for now okay this is my category 4 now look at the second game this game right so if you see there is no social interaction right no social interaction in game ab2222 right so ab22 will fall in first category which is no social interaction right so this will send go in this right no social interaction let's let's look at ab3333 right so in ab3333 if you see this is ab3333 right from here till here right now here if you see there is a social interaction from from abc only right sorry 333 is till here okay so if you see there is a custom type message which is fine there is a gift also but the interaction is with one user only right so if you see the third category third category sorry second category is one-sided interaction one-sided interaction only right so this falls in one-sided interaction doesn't matter if it is custom type or whatever but this is a one-sided interaction because because if you see there is only one user user abc is sending the messages right so it is one-sided interaction so ab333 there is no interaction from def right so it is one-sided category and last one is our ab4444 and if you see in ab4444 what is the condition both side both sided interaction sorry this one both sided interaction without custom type messages right so we have an interaction from both the players def and abc right but there is no custom type message here you see all are emoji preloaded quick and all and all so ab444 will fall in this category right let me copy this this one okay both side interaction without custom type so now we have to code it in cycle so that we can categorize each of these game right so let's start so now let's start with the first one no social interaction right we will start with the first one no social interaction and this is the last actually so i will keep it in the last so we will tackle one by one okay so we will start with no social interaction now if i i have to do group by on game because for each game i want to categorize so i will say group by game underscore id right now if i say if i say game id right game id i have to take here and i will say case when count of count of what interaction type equal to zero right count of interaction type equal to zero then this will be no social interaction right because count function doesn't count the null values it will count only not null values so for ab ab2222 all four values will be null right because there is no social interaction then there will be all the not null values sorry all null values for interaction type so i am saying case when count of interaction type equal to zero then no social interaction and as game type let's call it game type okay so let me run this and show you quickly so if you see ab222 no social interaction we have not handled other cases we will handle it one by one but our first category is qualified right let's move on to the second thing so now i will say i will say next when when now what i have to do in this case one sided interaction right there is a interaction there is an interaction but only one sided interaction right so i will say count of give me count again case when interaction type is not null right i am interested in those record where interaction type is not null only these records right only these records case when interaction type is not null then user underscore id and and i will take a distinct of it right so it will count only those records where interaction type is not null right give me the user id and this should be equal to one 
because I'm saying one-sided interaction, right? If there are two-sided interaction, distinct user ID will be two, okay? So if I will say then one-sided interaction. I hope you get it, right? I will explain again, don't worry. Okay, so this is one-sided interaction. And if I just again do this, we are getting for AB1333 one-sided interaction, right? I hope this makes sense. Okay, let's move on to the both side interaction without custom type messages, right? So let me copy this. So now it is saying there should be a both side interaction, right? In, in this category, right? So which means this should be two. This is fine, right? So if I check case when interaction type is not null and take user ID, take distinct of it, if it is both side interactions, then the count will be two. Distinct user ID will be two, right? But at the same time, I also have to check count. Let me copy this. Case when interaction type equal to equal to custom typed, right? So we don't want any custom typed one. So if if there is a message custom type, then take user ID, this should be zero, right? This should be zero, then I will say this one. Both side interaction without custom type messages. Okay, let me explain. So first I'm seeing that, that there should be a both side interactions, right? Which I'm checking that interaction type should be null, should not be null and take the distinct user ID too. But at the same time, there shouldn't be any message. There shouldn't be any message where inter, uh, interaction type equal to custom type. So I'm saying distinct case when interaction type is custom type, then this should be zero, right? So this will give me, this will give me the required result. So let me run this. So if you see, we got AB4444, both side interaction without custom type messages, right? Now the last one, last one, let me copy this. It is very similar to the last one. Okay. And this will be my, this big one. Okay. So let me paste it first. Okay. So what is the change here? Both side interaction with custom type message from at least one player. So it is, it is very similar. So I have to say both side interaction, which is fine, right? This is fine. But but there should be at least one player who has sent custom type message. So I will say greater than or equal to one. There should be at least one player who has sent custom type message, right? That's it. That will give me the final answer. Uh, I think I have not, I have not, I'm not running the full query. Yeah. So if you see the last one, AB111 both side interaction with custom type message from at least one player, right? So now we have segregated all these games into different category. Now, if I want the percentage distribution, in my case, it will be 25, 25%, but you can have hundreds of game and it can be different. So I think you can do it. Let me quickly do it. So, so if I have to get the distribution with CTS, let's create this as a CT. Okay. Select game underscore type comma count one count star right from ct group by game type right so in my case it will be one 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 because i have created all all one one game for each category right so it is one 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 so i have to get total games right total games divided by sorry count of for each game type count star divided by count of total so count star over nothing right so if i run this as percent dist okay so if i run this now i'm getting zero why because integer divided by integer is a is integer so i'll just multiply it by 1.0 and I'm getting 25, 25%. I can multiply by 100 to get the percentage distribution, right? 
So I just multiplied with it and I'm getting that 25% game falls in this category, this and this all 25 in my case, but it can be different. This what it is doing, it is doing a count star on whole table over in over I have not given anything. So this will give me four, right? So if I take it separately as total records or total games, you will see it will be four. Okay, it is four. So one divided by four is 0.25 multiplied by 125. Okay, I hope you like this question, the solution. Let me know if you have a better or simpler solution and like the video, share with your friends. Thank you. Have a good one.